Hey yo, what up? This is your man Fashion, aka the F in full effect, and you're rocking with SplashMag.com, you bitches. Okay, for Sean, this is like your third or fourth time over here in Europe, so yeah, it seems man. you're feeling real comfortable over here? Uh, definitely, man. Uh, I feel like the European audience uh, have really took heed to, to what I do, man, and really um, really love what I do. And I love, I love the vibe over here. It's, I mean, I could come over here a hundred times. This is one of the, the best places to come if you love hip-hop, if you do hip-hop, you know? So, yeah. So back then when you did your first show here, have you ever thought that in this short period of time you would do so many so many gigs over here? I would have never imagined it. If you would have told me this three years ago, I wouldn't have even thought I'd be here talking to you, man. Like, it's, it's overwhelming a little bit, you know? It's like, man, it's almost my fourth, fourth or fifth time here almost, you know? And um, I've got to do a lot of the major festivals, like shout out to Splash, man. Like, And I'm and I'm I'll be 23 this year, man. I feel good about just I, just the fact that my passport has a lot of stamps on it. You know what I'm saying? So and I don't even have a license, so I'm good. I felt good about life. So you've been doing shows with Rakim and Master Ace over here in the yeah. last day. So uh, do you have any remarkable anecdotes for the audience? Uh, I'm still working on some, man. I still got a couple shows left, and I'm developing a few right now. Soon you'll see them, but uh. I'm still developing. I'm still just taking notes from the guys, man. Straight up. I watch Rakim set every night. I don't, I don't miss a song, you know? Straight up. Um, so I know it's, it's kind of a difficult question, but how has your life changed since uh, Boy Meets World dropped your first album? Man, uh, since I met the world, man, shoot, a lot of stuff has changed. I'm hardly home. Uh, dang, it's a bunch of stuff, man. I'm in magazines now. Um, doing festivals instead of small clubs that are sizes like the size of your armpit um yeah man a lot has changed um got a few more tattoos but that's nothing important um a lot more female fans if you know what i mean uh <laughs> and just a lot more real fans and throughout the years i get to see like where my real fans are at you know what i mean because i can take them back like when i go on stage and do my live show i could go back to 09 08 even 07 sometimes And, and they know it, so yeah, that's, it's a great thing. I, can't, I couldn't, I can't complain. You just released a video to the more radio-friendly song down the road. Still you question if I love you like I say I do. Doesn't even think a real brother capable of being faithful to somebody lady like first day asked you to stay the night. Okay, maybe I was moving too fast. Or maybe I ain't think we would last. Put on the gas. Shorty got me down this road, losing count of how many miles I drove. You I just need you to know. Uh, I just need you to know. I usually don't make uh, songs that are. Well, I guess most of my songs are easy on the ear, but um, this song was like as soon as I like the chorus came, I just knew it was a big record. I just knew it was one of those records that that was easy to sing along. You know what I'm saying? A quote unquote radio friendly, and um. Yeah, we chose to, chose to shoot a video off it, you know, the first video off of Higher Learning Volume 2. Um, just trying to try new things, man. I've never took a step in that direction, and I think my fans deserve to see me in that light at least once, you know what I'm saying? So, but are you afraid that might be the hardcore fans that they are like, oh, what is he doing right now? We want to see some, some rough tracks, or that they are afraid that you're doing more, like, more stuff like this in the future? I'm not afraid at all. Um, my fans know me. They know... Um, I like to cover all bases, whether that's some underground hardcore shit or some a real ballad, a real big ballad, you know what I'm saying? They know I can tackle it all, and um, at the end of the day, it's still me, you know? So if they're really like, I don't know if you mean hardcore in a rugged sense or like hardcore, like passionate fans, you know? I mean more in the rugged sense, so like okay. with the rough tracks that you first came out back then. Not worried at all, man. Even thugs need love, man. They can't deny that shit. Yeah. And at least with Traveling Man, I mean, it was also some, some like, uh, not softer song, but it was, it had a... It was sincere and, and a genuine song. It wasn't like a dude fronting like he's, it wasn't, a, he didn't put his machismo out there, his macho-ness out there. He just kept it sincere and kept it real. And um, that's what I do, man. 
That's all I do every day of my life, so. Like that. You know it's like that. I'm who you internet haters wanna strike at. Don't make me show up to your porch with a spike back. And leave you front and rear tires on your bike flat. Defeat and kill, delete your skill. You think you're sweet until I cut you off and leave you in the cold like you haven't paid your heater bill. Fuck your squad and your street appeal. Eat a deal, snake, click, fleet until my kicks is in your leader's grip. So you had the O2 Illmatic mixtape out last year, and these days Elzai dropped his own version Shout of, of Illmatic. Yeah. Uh, it, it was named Elmatic. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. what do you think of his mixtape and his approach towards yeah. this classic record? I think uh, Elza is a phenomenal artist, first of all, and um, got so much respect for dude. I actually got to meet him a couple times, once over here, for the, for the first time he was in Europe, and um, showed me love. And um, he's just nothing but respect and admiration for that guy, man. But as far as Elmatic, that shit is, is pretty dope. I like the way he approached it. Repping Detroit, it felt like I was in Detroit when I was listening to it. It didn't feel like he was copying Nas, you know, it just felt like he was paying tribute. And um, yeah, I enjoyed that tape, man. If niggas don't have that, they need to grab that. It's pretty cool. For sure. I like how he brought the live elements with the different... The and, kind of, and revamped and revamped the music, you know, instead of just taking the, um, the two-track, the instrumental, he revamped it and uh, reinterpreted it, and I thought that was dope. But it's funny that, that both of you had, had like the same idea in mind for like two years or so and then we had interviews with you and you said uh, I'm, I'm planning to, to touch yeah. touch on Nas Classic and Elzai too. So. Well I think when, you, um, when you're MCs like us and you just cut from that cloth, um, I just I, I guess, you know, great minds think alike, you ever heard that, you know? And uh, he's a great minded person, man, and um, his was totally original, it's, it's not even the same, you know, it's just us paying tribute to one of our favorite artists that influenced us, you know? So, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's crazy though. I'm glad he didn't drop it like a day after mine though. You know what I'm saying? At least he gave my project time to breathe and it's all good. It, it was tasteful, it was cool. Definitely. Um, so you're known for combining rap and skateboarding as well as, you know, the Art Future really? Camp? Yeah. I didn't know that. I do skate, but I don't know. Thank you. Proceed, I'm sorry <laughs> if I cut you off. No, but. I think there's some, some somehow a connection, you know. Yeah, man. You had the skateboarding in a video and so. Um, it's just something that, like, that's just a part of life in California. It just it started in California. For people who don't know that, um, it's just something we grew up doing. And um, I don't even talk about it much in my music. I just that's just how I live every day. That's how I go to the store. That's how I, you know, skate around. That's what I do. So it is in talks that Exile and Blue are working on a new project together. So um, yeah, on a are. sequel to Below the Heavens. So uh, how about you and Exile joining forces together? Me and Exile are definitely gonna do another album together. Like that's not even a question, you know. So. Last time I got to see Exile was at Pay Dues. You know, we don't get to spend as much time because you know he's a traveling man as well as I am. And um, but yeah, as soon as we get back to Cali. We finna get, get down, man. New shit with me and Exile. I already got some stuff y'all haven't heard with X, but it's not time yet. We still gotta, still in the oven getting made, you know, still baking. But it's definitely certain that Exile will be the, will be producing the whole album, like Boy Meets World. Yeah, I can't promise if that'll be the next album, but I can promise that me and Exile will have an album again together, okay. for sure. So, with all the overwhelming uh, um, um, support or uh, the reviews that uh, Boy Meets World received back then from fans and critics worldwide, does this put you in some sort of pressure? Yeah, it puts me under uh, a major amount of pressure. But it's good pressure, it's just fans wanting you to do better and, and be better than the last time. So that's not bad pressure, it's good pressure. And um, But yeah, um, that album took me like my whole life to make, you know, like you never You can never duplicate that, so um, I just hope that my fans will grow with me and understand where I'm at now in my life and in my career. That's all I could hope for, man, you know, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best, you know. Um, yeah, but I'm glad that people like that album. I wouldn't, that album changed my life and it changed a lot of other people's, so, yeah. So, uh, besides that project or the next project with XI, what, what got you else cooking up? Um, well, I was in a lab with Jake One. I got some, I don't know if that's gonna land on his album or my album, but I was doing some work with Jake One, um, brother by the name of Terrace Martin. Um, I really want to work with like Our Future and Kendrick Lamar and just really help put, bring this West Coast shit back. Um, I've just been working, man, how I learned it too. I've just been 
touring that since it dropped on February 16th. And um, just constantly working, man. Even on the road, just hopping from studio to studio. Um, yeah, man. I can't wait to finish my next album. That's my mission when I get back to America. It's just to finish my next album, you know. So I can sit back and listen to it and let the world hear it, you know. Because um, I think I got some really powerful music. I just um, waiting for the right time to drop that on y'all. Okay. And you're still unsigned or? Yeah. No one wants to sign me. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. I mean, you know, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know. I just, I'm my own business, man. I'm like, I'm my own brand and I'm my own empire. So if anybody wants to come and like partner up, that's cool. But I, I'd be damned if I'd be just an artist on somebody's label, yeah. on somebody's roster. Um, So, yeah. So you look from project to project. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, we built our foundation so strong, I think it's unshakable, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all I can say, man. I think uh, I'll be doing this for a while, record label or no record label, you know?